Dan just found a picker, he says. Well, he thinks it's a picker. I think it probably is, but uh, let's go find out. <laughs> so I keep just digging up like trash targets and whatever, and I decide not to film it, and of course, finally. Holy cow. Good morning, or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Paula, your special host. Today I am back at Pickerton, which is Dan Hurd's claim. You can see him out there in the background. Last time I was here, we found lots of pickers. I found a silver coin, which was freaking awesome. And today we're hopefully gonna do the same thing. Now we have Andrew, which is a special guest, and we have Davey, who's also a special guest. And also we have someone from Colorado. What's up, everybody? Shane from Clutch Guitars will be joining us today. Yeah, let's just hurry up and uh, begin. Today I'll be using my Goldbug 2 metal detector along with some of my other scoops and scrapers and we do have a mission to go and find my spoon because I left it here like a few weeks ago and I want my spoon back. I also noticed since it just rained all the sand that was dry like last time is all sunk right into the bedrock and this will make it easier to detect whatever may be in here. Ow. Dan is talking to himself so we know <laughs> he found something. What did you find mate? Oh look at that. Right. Nice. Oh, it looks really cool. I like how it stands out uh, over the dirt. That's pretty it's neat. It's so bright. So bright compared to the dirt. Wow. Exciting. Exciting. Have you found anything yet? Shut up. And the fact there it is. Running down here and then the GoPro, you can't really see it all that well, but uh, it's gold, baby. It takes us a while to actually film and find gold because when we are actually looking for gold and not using our cameras, we're finding gold and we move on. But if we find a piece of gold here and we're all YouTubing, I mean, it takes us about 10 minutes because each one of us film. So I just found a screaming target that I didn't hear before and that is because I broke down through the bedrock and got to the very bottom and it's clearly a nail. An old square nail, so probably from the old uh, old timers. The old old timers. Cool. Actually, it's actually in good good shape. Interesting. All right. So I've uncovered two targets that I put in my pan that I found right here. And I have another one in here that I'm gonna put in my pan. And then we'll pan it all out. And dad, 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 or dad's dan, dad. Dad's dan, dad. You just, you just speak good. I speak good, good speak. Good. So dad, right after dan, the first one, yeah. gets a second. As I said, the better. And all the cameras come out, because it's a nice one. As I said, I think the uh, better stuff is in the bucket. Oh, that is a nice picker. That's crazy. <laughs> and everyone's camera has got to come out to check out the new picker. So Feeling my spirit. Uh, Everyone pulls out their cameras. Yeah, yeah all the cameras come out. Uh -huh. Probably got a piece here. Yeah. So I keep just digging up like trash targets and whatever, and I decide not to film it. And of course, finally. Holy cow. A well, nice, got a piece. nice fat piece. That is awesome. Really oh, cool. That's a beauty. That is. A nice close up on that one. That's, I'd say it's probably 18 ounces. That's a, that's a 18, nugget. 18 ounces. Yeah, I'd say 0.3 maybe. Yeah, nice nugget oh, there. That's gotta be wow. getting close to one. That's fat though, too, eh? Look how fat it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a, that's a, gra that's a grammar Gram. easy. You sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who knows? I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I have nice, a scale man. back in my truck. Cool. That is actually pretty cool. That's very, very, very cool. Yeah. You don't even look very happy. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm pretty happy. I am always happy. I, I take finding gold for granted, man. I mean, I gotta appreciate more of that. That is awesome. beautiful, man. That is awesome. Oh, I'll get a close up of that. Yeah, feel free. Any luck? So, good news. I found my spoon. Nice. So, that chunk of gold I found was way up here. You can see how high I am from the water line. Just in this uh, little trough here. I think I'm just gonna make this a little bit more shallow by digging all this out, putting it in the pan, and all the exposed bedrock I will detect, and hopefully detect down here before Shane gets it. Dan just found a picker, he says. Well, he thinks it's a picker. I think it probably is, but uh, 
Let's go find out. Alright. Time to go get my sucker bottle and pull up these babies that are in there. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see something coming out. Faster. Go slow. Go. Oh! There you go. It's as big as it is. Nice. Oh, it's long and skinny. He's just it's see. folded. See? It's folded. They're all freaking folded. Wow. I think that's the, that's the last spike. I think just right <laughs> down. It's a railroad spike. Okay, oh, did you hear that? I did. Let's go check up on Shane for a moment. How you doing, brother? Ah, uh, I'm still chasing a target. I found a piece of iron down here. I dug all the way down to this crevice. I found a little piece of iron, and there's still another target in here. So I'm just chopping away, buddy. Now this SDC 2300 is a brand new detector from Mine Lab. How do you like it? I'm still learning it. Um, so far, it seems to be working good. We tested it on your giant nugget, and it, it works. works. It does work, yeah. Um, Andrew from Adventure Gold uses one of these. He loves them too. I just love it when you turn them on. They make such a cool jet starting up sound. It sounds like an alien spacecraft. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's continue. Another nice piece. Nice little V wedge in Japan. And it's folded, go figure. Wow. See what's happening with the folding? Edge of coming out. Look at that. Uh, a folded right? piece. Yeah. Half of it comes out and gets bent and then the rest of it. Awesome. Goes. Well, no, I think it gets washed out of that crack as the rock breaks off. It goes to the next crack, lays flat on top of yeah. it, and then something wedges something it down into it. that. <laughs> but they are folded. Yeah. Hey, Paulia. Are you picking? Yeah. All right, so Polly found his nugget right up here, so everybody's starting to congregate in that area. And polly has got another target, and he started cleaning it off, and it is another piece of gold. So I don't know if this is the piece of gold that I just detected with this, because it does look really small. It almost looks like it's gold monster kind of gold where you can find that little piece right there. But I do have a really loud signal in here. It could also just be the rock, but since I just found a nugget up here, chances are it could be just a nugget. So mm -hmm. we will find out using my sweet finger. But um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna pick up that piece. You need a screwdriver? Do you have a screwdriver? Yes, I do. You do. I use your little you see if, too. Let's see if you can detect it with that. Is that another signal, it's, guys? it's another piece of gold, yeah. <laughs> it's really small, but I don't know if it's our target or not. No. No? Okay. Where's we'll your scooper? I just want to put the little piece of gold in the scooper. This isn't the gold I I just detected, I don't think, because it's really small. So it's in the scooper. But I have another I do have another target in here. You got another signal? Yeah, but that's the piece of gold I just saw on the surface. Excellent. Let's see if we can hear this if I unplug this beast. You know, barely. Yeah, there's something in there. There has to be, anyway. Here you go. That's uh. Do you have something sharp? Cause... Right here. Oh. Okay. The screwdriver. The screwdriver. It's a banana. Okay. All right, let's uh. See if you moved it out. Yeah, let's just see what we did here. You got it. Oh. It's not a screwdriver. You got it. You got it. Yeah, we got it's it. It's in there. Cut it, see what we got. For some reason, like when you find a piece of gold, like a big piece of gold, you don't want to move that, move around, you know, you want to stay in that spot. Strange, really weird. Left handed. The young guy panning? The old guy panning. Oh, what? What's Davey got? Davey got a lot of gold. What about me? Oh, sorry, sorry, we're back on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two pieces of lead shot and some gold. Okay, back to the other guy. Yeah, what'd you get there, Davey? <laughs> oh, I just went back into that hole to get the bottom of it, and then all his little friends were in the bottom. Look at all the flour. See? Shane thinks he found his biggest piece of gold. Yeah. 
Nice, and you can pick and it right up. We That's... got two for both of us at the same time. I'm happy with that, man. Oh yeah, awesome. Clash's first picker from Pickerton. Nice. Yeah, they both have a nice piece nice. of gold. Nice. <laughs> so it has been about a half an hour now. We keep finding little bits of gold. We keep finding lead shot and iron stuff. What I'm doing right now is I'm now using the SDC 2300 pulse injection detector and that will allow me to detect a bit deeper, deeper than the gold bug 2. And once I get deeper, then I'll bring back out the gold bug 2 to see if I can't un uh, uncover those targets that are, well, gold hopefully. So I picked up a target with this bell detector. Really, it's really loud, so I want to see if I can uh, dig it out. Okay, Dan has another one. Silly Dan. Okay. That's a nice little piece. Wow. There's just tons of gold here. Way to go, Dan. I'm in the picker crevice. Look at the depth on this thing. I got three pickers out of it already. I'm still not at the bottom. And right there, I'm gonna pan that out and see what we can get. That's pretty much from the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the crevice. And then the next pan after that will be the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the crevice. That's the nuggets are hiding. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing really well. I guaranteed him there would be gold in there, so if there's not, I'm gonna refund all of his money. <laughs> yeah, which is zero dollars. Yeah. Which is zero dollars. That one crevice, man. Actually, one. three. This is the third picker. Third yeah, picker. Yeah, two and three. Wow, dude. Good for you, man. So High man. five. That's a folded one. A foldy. Yeah. That one's like folded over. I hope I'm getting that on camera. <coughs> All right, so we're calling it quits for today. Um, I'm hiding behind this rock here, out of the wind, because it is really windy, and my mic is terrible, like I've said before. We'll go back and we'll take a closer look at the gold and everything else that we found. All right, so we're back at the house at the Airbnb. I'm just gonna make this pretty quick, but this is the gold that we found for the day. As you can see, good gold. I really like Pickerton. There's a lot of really nice pieces in here. Some are flat, some are nice and thick. And of course, we have all the garbage that we pulled out of the river because we are good people. So now the only thing that's left is to weigh the gold, so let's hurry up and do that. Dan actually has a scale. I actually like the scale better than mine. It should do the trick. Okay, so all three of us, 1.757. That's not too bad. I really like that, actually. Not too bad. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I actually had a really good day. And the one thing I did learn is that I need a new camera. Um, I do like the GoPro camera. I think it works well, but it doesn't zoom in. It doesn't focus well. It doesn't, I mean, it, the audio, anyway. Anyway, I won't get into that right now. So if you guys did enjoy the video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what I've posted in the future. <laughs> I'm posting what I've previously posted and what's to come up in the very near future. Also, please check out Shane from Clutch Guitars and obviously Dan Hurd. If you want to see any behind the scenes stuff, feel free to follow us on our social medias. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Until next time, we will see you later. It's a banana.